Okay, today is Monday, so what I'm going to try to do is hopefully cut out that denim, get the serger, my new serger figured out how to put the thread on there and thread it through, and I've got to do some alterations for a lady in our church. I have, I think, five of those to do, and then I have another alteration of this red dress too. All right, so I filmed today the how to measure yourself, and then I told you guys I was going to do this um, alterations today, but I decided it needed to be washed and dried first. So I went on to this alteration. You can see I have it all clipped where I need to be um, hem it. I have to figure out how to thread this machine still, though. That's what's next. Well, I didn't even like showing you this. This is what it looks like today. Um, obviously, I didn't get anywhere yesterday, <laughs> so we were gone most of the night, so yeah, this is kind of discouraging, but we'll have to tackle it today. So for each of these hemming that I'm doing, I had to clip them because I couldn't iron the hem in place because of the red fabric was too delicate and then the corduroy would mess up the whales on it. Okay, so as you can see, I got a lot cleaned up. Got the machine threaded, which wasn't as bad as I thought. Got that all ready to be hemmed. And this one just has to be ironed and it's ready to go out the door. Okay, I found the best, best cotton that I want to use to line that dress. You can see the shine on it. It is amazing. It feels so soft, and I'm going to line my denim dress with this because cotton with cotton, I just like that idea. Um, I will leave a link in the description for this. It's at Joann's. It is amazing. All right, so here I am pattern drafting. I make the, everything custom made for whatever you want. So it means I have to be able to make a, pa a lot of patterns and I do make a lot of patterns and that's what I was doing here. A lot of pattern drafting. Also today I got this listing up. So I have to edit them in this program and then I can't see it. I take it to this program and then I edit it in here and it still wasn't right. I had to do this four times, guys. Four times before I actually liked the picture. That took forever. Then I had to send it from the computer to my iPad so that I could post it on Instagram. It is a process getting a listing up and I saw a few that I'm supposed to get up. Maybe I'll get them up this week, I don't know. Okay trying to be happy today okay so the pattern drafting that I did yesterday I used the wrong hip measurement so this is all gonna go um yesterday in the dryer there was a crayon and it ruined two of my dresses it ruined a skirt it ruined another dress it ruined one of my husband's shirt I saved these pieces because they have buttons on them. I'm going to take the buttons off and um, put them in my button jar. I always take buttons off before I throw stuff away because as you know, red wax will not come out of your clothes. So basically, I am worse off than when I started yesterday morning today. So I have to make up for yesterday and I have to do today's stuff. So. We'll see how far I get, but try to have a good attitude and we'll just do as much as we can. I try to have a good attitude and that's the way the cookie crumbles some days, so can't cry over spilt milk. 
now seam ripping those buttons. I keep a special seam ripper in my button jar so that way it's so easy for me to pull buttons off. Otherwise, if I have to go to two different places, I know I won't. I know that sounds bad, but I have to keep that seam ripper with the button jar. Okay, and I'm showing you some pattern drafting just so that you know I did it that day. I didn't include all of it because I figured you saw it yesterday. I just did it again that day. Yay, I get to cut out real fabric. I'm done pattern drafting. Huzzah! Here I'm working on a beautiful maroon skirt. In fact, I already heard feedback from this customer. She loved it and she wants it in more colors. So I'm super excited to make her some more. Um, but I basically go from sewing to ironing to sewing to ironing to sewing to ironing. I am working on this denim skirt. This maroon skirt just needs buttons and buttons holes. Oh, oh, it needs hemming too. And this, I've decided, is gonna be the stash bash fabric. I have lots of it, <laughs> lots of it. And I know it's not an exciting color, but look at this kind of color palette I have going on here. Like it just really feels like fall. And since fall is coming, Hopefully this will be a little bit more exciting. I'm gonna do a fun giveaway on Inst, or not giveaway. Well, maybe, I don't know. We'll see on Instagram. So follow me over there. How do you spell breakfast? I mean, you don't have enough room to put breakfast there. You should probably try and write lunch. Okay, so my packaging, this is the only thing that I have that's personalized. Everything else is just generic blue or something. Am I the only one that like hates it when you feel like you spent $10 for their custom packaging? This is the iron side and this is the side that's not ironed. See how wavy it is? That is the difference. That is why you have to iron your stuff. It just makes it look so much more professional. I know like the patterns say that and a lot of times you skip it, but huge difference. Don't skip out on ironing. Okay, so I told my husband that this thing wasn't sitting right and then we found out why the bolts just like broke off. So we have to get new bolts for this so it stays up. And then this time I actually remembered the tag in this skirt. This is going out. Um, there again is the stash mesh. Oh, and I didn't get the stripe out for my collab. I'll show you in a second. This is the stripe fabric for a collab I'm doing with this modest life. I'll tag her down below um, or I'll put her Instagram link down below. But this is such a fun print and um, it's really thin. I don't know if you can see that stripe behind. So I'm gonna have to do a double layer on this, but it won't be heavy. Um, I think it'll look adorable. Okay, so I made mention of my packaging. Here it is. This is um, cardstock and I picked it off myself. And then this is more colored card cardstock and I use the puncher. So I make it look cute, but it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. And I got new mailers, like, cause I thought, well, this teal, I wanted to get dark blue. I guess on the screen it does look dark blue, but in person it looks purple. Like, and I'm the blue keystone, so. Okay, y'all, my sewing just got a lot harder. Because uh -huh. I've got something <laughs> stuck on my leg. <laughs> the reason why you don't see a lot of people with matching stripe on fabric is because it's so much time. If you can watch me work with this fabric, it took me three minutes just to get it flat, not cutting anything out. This one is all cut out and I should be able to have it sewn up tomorrow, which is the last day of my week of sewing. And then I thought, I just, I really like this pink and I'm going to try and make one up. I know it's not fall color. I guess it can be. I don't know. This is something that I actually dyed and in some places you can see it. So I've been saving it, but I'm going to make my um, 
perfect dress out of this as well as this. This will go out tomorrow and <laughs> who knows when this will get done. Hopefully soon. Okay, so for the sleeves, I need something that will stretch, obviously, and I do the sleeves before I have them sewn up. So this is the sleeve flat. And you can do it with your machine if you have a twin needle. But if your twin needle gets even off just a little bit, it's trash, you have to throw the whole thing away. So I have a brand new one, and we're gonna sew it with this. Okay, and there we go. I'm gonna have to iron it, but you can see it has some stretch to it. So the devil needles work really good. You just have to make sure that they're perfect. Okay, so Instagram voted for regular long sleeves, so this is gonna have regular long sleeves. Have not cut them out. The top here is done and the skirt is way over there waiting to get finished. If I get finished, I will wear it for the recap on Monday morning, and since it's Saturday night, this is the last night of this week, so I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Okay, so that is my weekend review. If you liked this, will you consider hitting the subscribe button right there? That would be awesome. And make sure that you check out thebluekeystone.com and then watch my Instagram because this is going to show up there in the next couple weeks. I'll have it sewn and done. I'm excited about that. And there's videos coming every Tuesday and I'm really excited about it. I'm so glad that you're here watching. Thanks.